गुड मॉर्निंग डियर चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर फोर ऑफ कंप्यूटर दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू एम एस वर्ड टू थाउजेंड टेन बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद लेसन ओपन योर बुक पेज नंबर थर्टी थ्री इंट्रोडक्शन टू एम एस वर्ड टू थाउजेंड टेन स्टूडेंट्स यू मस्ट हैव सीन द प्रिंटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन योर स्कूल और समवेयर एल्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लेटर नोटिस एग्जाम पेपर सर्कुलर एक्सेट्रा द प्रिंटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर क्लियरली रीडेबल एंड लुक क्वाइट प्रोफेशनल देन द हैंड रिटन डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड रिक्वायर्स लेस ह्यूमन एफर्ट ओके एंड इट रिक्वायर्स लेस ह्यूमन एफर्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस मल्टीपल कॉपीज ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंट कैन बी क्रिएटेड वेरी इजली एंड क्विकली the ms word is the most popular application software that allows us to create edit and print the document on the computer okay now let us know how to start the ms word and how to work in it to start the ms word first we will click on start button and then we will click on all programs after that we click on ms office and then we select the ms or word okay microsoft word our students we can double click the shortcut icon of ms word if it is present on the desktop okay now here you can see the ms word window appears with a blank document okay and uh, the ms word window has various components okay so now uh, here we will see the different components of microsoft word so let us see what are the di different components of microsoft word first is title bar the title bar it is the top most bar of the window and it is called title bar okay and what it displays it displays the program name as well as current document name next is quick access toolbar so this is located on the extreme left of the title bar and it holds various frequently used buttons okay next ribbon next component is ribbon a ribbon appears when we click on any tab and it contains various commands which are organized in group and by default ms word opens up with home tab okay file tab next is file tab the file tab is placed on the upper left corner of the ms word window under the quick access toolbar we can create open save and print a file by selecting the file tab next is ruler the horizontal ruler is placed at the top of the document window and it measures the width of the document page the vertical ruler measures the height of the work area and it is located to the left of the document window work area next is work area this area is used for typing and editing the text this is also known as document area next is status bar students it is uh, displayed at the bottom of the word window and here we can see information about the current documents like the number of pages number of words view button zoom slider bar etc scroll bars next component is scroll bars students Uh, what is the use of scroll bars so scroll bars are used to view the hidden area of the 
document and there are two types of scroll scroll bar horizontal scroll bar and vertical scroll bar the horizontal scroll bar is used to scroll the page left and right whereas vertical scroll bar is used to scroll the page up and down okay so these are the different components of microsoft word window next topic is creating a document students to create a document we will we will click on the file tab and then we select new option okay and the and the blank document will appears okay and then we select blank document option from the available templates section and we click on create button and then the new document will appear the new document appears okay our next topic is entering text in a document entering text in a document to enter text in the ms word we simply double click at the position from where we want to start and type text by pressing keys on the keyboard and we will notice that when we type a character the cursor moves forward okay now next is selecting text in a document selecting text in a document why do we select the text students sometime we need to perform some operations on the text to make some modifications for this we first select the text so to select the text we click where we want to begin the selection and then we press left button of mouse and drag the mouse to move the pointer over the text to make a selection and then we release the mouse button once we are set satisfied okay next topic is adding new text to add a new text in ms word place the cursor at the point where you where we uh, you want to add new text and then start typing the text the typed text will appear in the document now saving a document when we work on the computer our data remains in the temporary memory and can get lost if the computer turns off therefore it is always important to save our work regularly to save our word document we will click on the file tab and select the save option and then the save as dialog box appears type the name for your file in the file name box and select the location where you want to save the file and then click on the save button okay the file will be saved now closing a document okay our next topic is closing a document to close a document we click on the file tab and select the close but option okay and if the changes in a document are not saved then word 2010 will prompt you to save the changes okay now opening a document we can open already saved document whenever required for that we click on we will click on the file tab and select the open option from the drop down menu and the open dialog box will appear okay and then we select the the file to be open from there we select the file to be opened and we click on the open button 
okay next is printing a document to print a document we will click on the file tab and select the print option from the displayed menu and uh, you would see the preview of your document and then select printer from the printer drop down menu now click on the print button in the center pan okay students so students here we finish chapter 4 of computer i hope you have understood this chapter nicely thank you thank you children